right, next vehicle in the lineup is this stunning Land Rover Defender Overland Edition with trailer built by our friend Neil. Neil, tell us about the vehicle. This is a TRX4 Land Rover Defender D110 from Traxxas and it has a uh, Expedition Overland paint job on it with a 3D printed trailer from Thingiverse.
So expedition over land, you you I, I don't know them, but you said they were uh, a YouTube channel. Yeah, it's a YouTube channel, mainly uh, a Toyota sponsored um, YouTube channel, and they go on mm -hmm. these expeditions. Um, oh, okay, yeah. so so they don't, they don't have a Land Rover, but they, they they do have this paint scheme. Yeah, they have this this type of paint scheme with the with the orange, white, and black. Uh huh. Yeah. And what what vehicle do they use? Usually they have uh, Tacomas and um, other Land Cruisers. Land Cruisers. Yeah. Okay, okay. So tell us what what modifications you put on this vehicle. The uh, for, uh, first with the with the with the with the uh, Defender, I, I, especially this tent. So everything on here has um, lots of scale accessories, half of which are three D printed. The Rooftop tent. The biggest print was was from Night Customs. Oh, that's a Night. It was a Night Customs, and then uh, most of the parts, like the metal metal stuff, were from eBay. Mm -hmm. So from China. So good deals on those. And then the Traxxas light kit, the standard one from Traxxas. Mm -hmm. um, RC four wheel drive sliders. And then axial capra plastic bead locks with Hyrax. Oh, yeah. Those are plastic bead locks, huh? Yeah, they came with the axial capra kit. Not bad. Those are the wheels. Well, Not bad. Well, it's stunning, and it makes sense. Even these uh, mud guards, huh? Mud guards, uh, Land Rover mud guards, eBay. Uh huh. Yeah. So cool. Okay, let's let's move on to the the trailer. Tell so us about the trailer. Trailer is from a, from Thingiverse. Um, everything on here is 3D printed, even the leaf springs. Even the leaf springs. The only things that are not 3D printed on this trailer are the hardware and the tires and the trasheru. Uh huh. And then a few scale accessories from the TRX-6 that I stole off of. So so the 3D print, you get a file for free somewhere? Yeah, uh, everything on Thingiverse is, is for free. And mm -hmm. then you just load it on a slicer and then upload it on a 3D printer and it starts printing. Right, all right. So we're gonna have a, a series with Neil. Uh, he bought this 3D printer a few weeks ago and it has been going nonstop, 24-7. <laughs> I think this tent took uh, 40 hours. Yeah, uh, two two days actually, two days and a couple more hours. Uh -huh. Two days, four hours for for this whole tent. Right. And the interesting thing with 3D print is you could you could just you could just kind of mock it up, or you could have something very detailed. You can have these springs um, that can actually function. You know, they're strong enough, so you you could do mock up quality yeah. or up the quality, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh, and like this tent itself is very detailed, but it's hollow. Yeah, hollow. Around probably 150 grams. Uh huh. Yeah. So, 3D printer, you invest. What costs you sometimes is the file, yeah. uh, and uh, probably this costs money, huh? Uh, yeah. So the the night custom stuff you you gotta buy from their website. Yeah. This one is like a five dollar STL file. Wow, that's not bad. Yeah. And then give us an estimation on the materials cost of the of the ink. So a one kilogram spool of filament is around twenty bucks mm -hmm. on Amazon, and that's enough to make four four of these. Four of those tents. Four of those mm -hmm. tents. Yeah. How much do you think material did you use here? I would say around five five hundred grams of silver and and black uh -huh. combined. Right. So ten dollars. Ten dollars of yeah. material. And you, you saw it perform, you saw it tumble, held up. Love it. And then uh, you have some sounds, right? Yeah. Some engine sounds. This one has the ESS uh, dual sound system in it. And it also has a horn. <laughs> the horn is from the ESS too? Yeah. That's so cool. Alright, thanks Neil.